Okay, Moran Pober here with the Business Daily. And the topic for today is, do you know your numbers? If I'd ask you, what's your gross annual sales are? Or what is your profit margin? Or what is your most profitable product? Would you know how to answer those right now without asking your accountant for the financials? Most business owners I talk to, they don't know the answers for those questions. And if you do, well done, seriously. If you don't know your financials, then how you expect to grow them? If you don't know what your current situation is, how can you plan a better situation? And yes, you can tell me, hey, I'm not the finance guy, and fair enough. But still, if you're one of the owners or the main business manager, you got to have at least basic understanding of what your numbers are. I understand that all entrepreneurs, they hate paying bills and dealing with accounting stuff and all those little details, tasks, and I fully understand that. But you have to get a better understanding on things if you want to run a successful business. If your goal is to run a business that is more successful, then you just got to learn, you got to learn those things, at least to a decent level of understanding. I highly suggest you look at your numbers on literally a daily basis, especially if you never did it before. And I guess the question you have right now is, what should I be looking for? And I believe that you should keep it simple, at least if you're just starting to look and track those things. So start with answering simple things like, how much did you invoice last week? Or how much money did you collect last week? Or um, what were your expenses last week? How profitable were you last week? Start with those basic numbers and slowly learn more about accounting and your business numbers and what they should be. And I want you to think about what you could do better to always improve them. Have a meeting with your employees and ask them, hey, hey guys, what can we do to be more profitable next week? Or what can we do to make sure we collect more cash next, next week? Always try to improve. Never settle for just knowing the data. The only reason to collect that data is for you to have a place to start with so you could improve. You have to know your daily goals when it comes to each of those areas that I mentioned, at least. And yeah, that's just the beginning of tracking things. Over time, you want to track even more things, such as number of calls you're making maybe, or number of proposals, your closing rate, your average sale, sales price, or there's, there's so much more you could track because only what gets measured get improved. And by understanding and tracking your numbers, that's the only real way you can measure whether your business is performing well or not. So I hope that makes sense. Track your numbers and don't just look at them and have them. Always think, how can I improve them? How can I fix some of them? And also, I would suggest to pinpoint what's working well in your business and make sure you do even more of those things. So my question and challenge for you for today would be to think about what you're going to start tracking in your business starting today. That's all I got for you for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate hearing from you. So comment, leave a review, and go to moanpobert.com slash daily if you want to get daily updates every time I put a new tip out there. And I'll send you also more notes and tips um, that you could use in your business. And if your business is in trouble or you just want to sell it or you just need my help to scale your business faster, go to moanpobert.com and get in touch as well. That's all for today. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.